Hello, Internet! Vinny D here, coming to you loud from the Fortress of Fragitude. And welcome to my brand new show, I'm gonna call it Ben 10. And since you guys and gals loved him so much, we're gonna be talking about Big G once again. This Vin 10 is all about giant monsters. This is Top 10 Monsters We Want in the Legendary Pictures Giant Monsterverse. Number 10, Gorosaurus. If you don't know who Gorosaurus is, he is the very first giant monster battle. Or rather, the copyright-friendly version of him. If you've seen the original Kong, which I truly, truly hope you have, you know he put the beat down on a T-Rex. Or rather, what they were calling a T-Rex at the time, because scientists really didn't know what a T-Rex was supposed to look like back then. Anyway! Along came the Toho King Kong films, which brought this big guy back to get his ass royally beaten by the Big Kong once again, and named him Gorosaurus. I include him on this list because, as I said, he is the very first giant kaiju enemy in the very first giant kaiju movie to get his ass beat by our giant kaiju hero. So, for historical significance alone, Gorosaurus starts this list off. Number nine, the blob. Nothing moves the blob. Japan has no total monopoly on giant monsters. America has produced many, many kaiju throughout the years. Most memorable, the blob, a giant glob of goop devouring everything in its path. Seems like a perfect fit for the giant monster verse. Yes, it may be a little difficult to get the rights for it, but I think this will be worth the battle. I never said this would only include Toho and King Kong monsters, now did I? Number 8! The Redosaurus! I say there are things better left unsolved. What the hell's a Redosaurus, you might say? Well, while King Kong is legendary for being the first kaiju movie, you cannot forget the second kaiju movie, The Beast, from 20,000 Fathoms. The Redosaurus is little more than a dinosaur awakened in the modern age. Yes, it's small by kaiju standards today. Indeed, its story, somewhat tragic. But again, it was not only King Kong which inspired the creation of Godzilla, but also The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms. And for that reason, again, on historical significance, I would like to see the Redosaurus included in the Kaiju-verse. Number 7! Hedora, the Smog Monster! Out of the polluted waters it came, to become the most fearful menace that ever threatened mankind. Much like Godzilla himself, Hedora is the manifestation of modern fears. While Godzilla embodied the Japanese fear of the nuclear bomb and the coming nuclear age, Hedora was a more modern fear for the 60s, pollution. Indeed, still a concern even today. Hedora, a man-made monster. Doing battle with natural-born monsters. It fits perfectly with the theme of man versus nature. And his debut movie, Godzilla vs. the Smog Monster stood out as a reminder that the kaiju are indeed the embodiment of all modern fears in the otherwise light-hearted and silly Showa era. Number 6! Anguira... Anguilus? Angrius? Okay, nobody agrees on how to pronounce this guy's name, but he's like Godzilla's best buddy forever, right? This pointy armadillo thing really needs to be in the monster verse. Let Godzilla have a pal, a friend, his very first enemy, aside from mankind, of course. But hey, we're already getting the two other good monsters, Mothra and Rodan, so why not throw one more in there? Number five, 
Middle of the list, Mecha Godzilla. It's Monster vs. Machine. While I doubt there'll be any aliens to build a Mecha Godzilla in this new era of monster filmmaking, Mecha Godzilla could very well be a man made threat to battle the Kaiju Menace, considering this is the same studio that gave us Pacific Rim? Sure, why not? But, hero or villain, which could Mecha Godzilla be? Number four! I'm gonna cheat a little here and say, Giant Bugs! <laughs> lots and lots of giant ass bugs. Monster movies of the East and West love to use giant insects and arachnids. So why not take that and run with it? We saw a few in Kong Skull Island, but really only a threat to the human characters. Nothing that could stand up to Big G or Kong. So let's see some more big bug monsters. We're talking the Deadly Mantis, Kamakuras, Kumanga. And if we're gonna have Mothra, you gotta have Batra. So let's get some huge creepy crawlies up in here. Bring on the bugs. Number three, Biolante. A one-shot monster from the Heisei era, Biolante once again embodied modern fears, this time of genetic engineering but ultimately turned out to be a good-hearted monster and is one of the few to boast a victory against Godzilla. So I think it's high time we saw Biolante on the big screen once again. Number two, Gaike. Slices, it slices, it splices your multimedia data while eating even Julian fries. Just get the potato and that little door in the front. What do you get for your money? Gigan is one of the most awesome monster designs out there. It's got knife arms, saw blades on its chest, blades on its tail. It looks like a 12-year-old knife nut designed it in the best way possible. I just, I absolutely love this monster design, even if he has a bad habit of being in some of the worst movies. Now, before we get on to number one, here's a few honorable mentions. More dinosaurs. We really didn't get any actual dinosaurs in Skull Island. We just got some bones. We need some dinosaurs. Just some big ass, regular ass dinosaurs. Jaegers. Could we combine the Monsterverse with the Pacific Rim universe? You know that would be freaking awesome. The Giant Claw. Another American kaiju. It's a Big ass ugly looking buzzard that somehow is made of antimatter or some bullshit. Jet Jaguar. Yeah, like that's ever gonna happen. Zilla. Because we'd really like to see the 90s American Godzilla get its ass kicked once again. And how can I not mention Godzilla's greatest rival, Gamera. Once again, never gonna happen. And finally, number one. I think you all know who it is. Destroya, the monster who killed Godzilla. The one weapon more terrifying than the atomic bomb, the oxygen destroyer. Embodied as a living creature, a primordial force of hatred and destruction, Destroya. And you know, even though he was evil in the Heisei era, I still got a little choked up watching Godzilla die. And this was the monster that drove him to it, who pushed him to melt down, who killed his son right in front of him. That is why Destroya is the number one monster I want to see in the Universal Legendary Pictures Monsterverse. So let me know what you think of this list. Did I leave out a favorite of yours? 
Did I bring in someone you freaking hate and never want to see again? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you everyone for supporting me. Hey, I've been very sick, but I'm back to making videos. I just got freaking married, can you believe that? But I'm still this same old nerd who loves to go on long rants about giant freaking monsters. So with that said, good night all. This is Vinny D signing out. Be good.